everybody, Ann here, and I thought today we would take a little walk around my property and look at where the sun rises and falls so we can kind of get an idea of where I'm going to plant. And by the way, I read your comments on my last video, the one critiquing my insulation, and you guys are so amazing. That is the first thing my dad said when he saw the picture of the one little section I put on, and he said, you really should table it to the front of the studs. So that's what I'm going to do going forward. But before I get started on all that today, let's take a little walk around. This is the front of my house. And in the morning, the sun comes up, like I told you before, from that, you know, area. So I have my solar panels placed this way. During, as the sun shifts, I will turn them this way and then eventually that way. But... This area right here is really sunny and it stays sunny most of the day because the sun is right up there. I'm not going to point this in the sun. And so this whole area, I am thinking, might be a good place to start planting. Um, and also, this area over here stays pretty sunny, but as the sun starts moving kind of this way through the trees, it, um, you know, there's areas of shade. The sun pokes in and out of this area. But I also noticed that all the way down through here, there's an awful lot of sun, a whole lot of sun. But you know what, there's trees, so the sun kind of peeks in and out of the trees. But I wanted to show you something. You guys have suggested raised beds to me, and I hope you can hear this through the wind. Um, I don't know if it's making you know weird noises, but look at this big pile of lumber that I've got. Look at these big, big logs. I might be able to use some of them, or all of them, to make raised beds. The only problem is they're very, very heavy and they're kind of there's like earth growing in between and they're still very solid I mean this one I can lift it a little bit so I don't know if I could kind of lift them somehow off of this pile and get them roll them somehow or another I know there's a way to do it using rope but this area out here is sunny almost all day long. So I don't know, maybe I can just put a huge garden right out here. I mean, I could even start containers out here, but the raised beds, since the logs are already right there, find a way to get them down here because this area is always, almost always sunny. So, I don't know, that's an option. And I wanted to ask you guys too, this little stream I got going on over here, um, you know, just depending how much rain we've got, let me get over here, it has varying levels of water. I wonder if there's some way, now that looks kind of mossy, kind of murky, but underneath, it looks pretty clear. I don't know if I could use this as a water source. Um, I don't. It comes from, I think it comes from a river that's located just way, way, way over there. But there's always water flowing through here. Now, if we go through a dr drought kind of situation, um, you know, this is going to dry up a little bit. But, I don't know. Maybe I can find a way to get this water from this stream up to some raised garden beds over there. I don't know. I don't know. I do know that it rains a lot in this area, so maybe that won't be an issue. But I like to take walks every, every day around my property and just kind of see what's going on here and there. There's going to be mushrooms going up, and I always find really cool stuff all over the place. Um, I don't always photograph all of it, but maybe I should start doing that. And look at all these leaves.
gathering a ton of these leaves for my little composting toilet and they've been working great absolutely perfect one little piece of moss growing on this log and i put it up on my porch so i want to let you guys see it and tell me what you think it is because it looks so cool it looks almost like i don't know here let me just show it to you Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Look at that. It's just growing on a little a little log, a little stick, and it's kind of dry. But if you look, doesn't it look like little Venus flytraps? Let me see. There, that's better. Look at those little open things. Like, look at that. Right there and right there. They look like little Venus flytraps. I'm going to have to figure out what those are. I wanted to take you down and show you the area by the culvert because um, my putting those blocks there and not letting anybody drive over it has helped it to really solidify. So let's take a look at that. All right, here it is. And if you see my foot, it does not give at all. I mean, it is just completely solidified, which is good because I was worried with the way it was getting rutted that the powder wasn't going to settle properly and it was all just going to run off. But this has become solid. So that is actually very, very fantastic. It's all, I mean, there's nothing mushy about it at all. I will need some more gravel, definitely, because it's settling in places. You can see the um, clay poking through, but it's all just very solid. I mean, there's a few areas where you can kind of kick the rocks around a little bit, but for the most part, it's really packing nicely and I can get up and down my drive without any problems. So that is really good. I wasn't gonna put a video up Sunday, but you know what, this one I just uh, kind of put together quickly, so it's gonna be easy. I'll just go ahead and share this with you today and uh, get to work on the insulation situation. And that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.